YouTube. Uh, I'm back after a long time, but uh, let's get on with it. Today we're going to continue with uh, uh, creating documents. So we're going to go over that one more time, and then uh, we'll move on to something else. Uh, so we've got our drawing if you've been following this is I think uh, the very first uh, drawing we had and I just added the grid to it because I didn't have a grid in there and uh, we're going to create uh, the layout so the base plates are how they're laid out on this grid now to do that uh, I already numbered my parts so if you don't know about numbering go back to the previous videos and uh, now we're just ready to create the, the document so first things first we place our UCS using the place UCS and object command and we'll place it on the base plate there and uh, we'll rotate it so that the Z is upwards so Y one okay so Z is up uh, uh, so next thing we do we go quick documents and then uh, we select elevation you want to go to this first one I don't know if it will be identical to yours but uh, it's take a good look at this one uh, it has the dimensions the grid lines and uh, uh, it's basically the anchor plan so we're gonna select that one the one with the dimensions uh, I don't know if the other one the other ones I don't think have or well, this one has but there's a few that don't have so we're gonna go with that first one but depending on the company again or the standard you're looking for go through those I go use and uh, scale I'm not sure what scale to use yet because I did this so randomly it's unbelievable we're gonna go half inch to a foot uh, in the detail box so like s here it says front zero so front is basically how far up from where you placed your UCS so zero inches up and how far down is the rear how far down uh, to go so for the sake of this drawing we're gonna go one foot up one foot down so this way from uh, where I placed my UCS the view starts one foot up and goes down as down far as one foot down and this we're gonna leave automatic uh, s we're gonna turn off the hidden lines that's to so it looks good and I'm gonna go OK we're gonna use uh, C paper size and we're gonna call this an anchor anchor okay and then we're gonna go OK now let's see what we created here uh, all this is in previous videos so I'm just going past uh, the stuff already explained in previous videos so we're gonna open the drawing okay this is what we have okay so we've got our columns there with the base plates and there's four of them so one two three four and they have the uh, uh, names of the base plate I mean sorry of the type of column used so this is a W1033 and uh, this is we could change that you can name it something else if we wish and uh, we've got our grid lines and basically that is the anchor plan and if you want to change some properties change the scale there uh, 
you can change uh, the position of the title and what the title is so I uh, will call it Tanaka just so you can see the change in there and uh, uh, what else do we need uh, well basically that is and you've got the dimensions and they are placed automatically so that's not a problem and uh, that's basically the anchor plan it's pretty straightforward and you can add stuff like dimensions to this if you don't have uh, so you can go on the vertical mind you you're gonna use these uh, uh, parametric dimensions not this one this one and uh, so say say you want to put the measurement of that on there oh did I choose vertical I chose vertical okay so you yeah you can choose horizontal or vertical so let's say okay I chose horizontal this time so first dimension line will go from there to there and bring it down and vertical you change you do it on the other side so if you need to add dimensions that's the way to do it and uh, that's basically our anchor plan 